I am on my own for lunch today. I work from home and I have a break, so I'm gonna cook myself some lunch. Chris and the kids are learning about Brazil this week in homeschool. And so as a field trip, Chris took the kids to Brazilian Steakhouse Fogo de Chao for lunch as part of like research. So they're all happily enjoying that and I stayed home uh, to work. But I am gonna cook myself. I have a chuck eye steak here and I'm gonna make some pork belly. I will say I used to eat one meal a day. I could eat a lot in one sitting when I did that. So this is over a pound of beef. Old me when I was doing one meal a day would have eaten a full pound of beef, some pork belly, and I probably would have had a few eggs to go along with it, which is like a lot of food at once. I can't do that anymore, right? My husband still is able to eat a lot in one sitting. He loves eating one meal a day. I just can't eat enough in one sitting. And so even though I'm not quite hungry for dinner, I know that I'm not eating enough if I'm only eating one meal a day. So I'm gonna have this piece of pork belly. I'm gonna chop it into cubes and I'm gonna put it in the air fryer and while that's cooking, I will take one of these two chuck eye steaks and then I will save the other one for tomorrow. I'm gonna to cook it in a cast iron skillet today. I wanna take a second and let you know that this video is sponsored by Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that's perfectly formulated for people on a carnivore, keto, low carb diet. I love the convenience of this packet that has the exact ratio of sodium, potassium, and magnesium that I'm looking for. Proper electrolytes can help prevent muscle cramps, fatigue, sleepiness, headaches, all those other symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. I just take the packet and throw it in my water and I'm good to go. All of their flavors are sweetened with stevia and they don't contain any of the other fillers or junk that I don't want, especially no sugar. If you want to try all of their flavors, they have a special deal for my subscribers where you can go to drinkelement.com slash laurasbath and get a free sample pack with any purchase. Just go to the link that's down in the description and you can get a free sample pack with any purchase. Thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. This is what I would define as about the perfect meal for me right now. A little bit of beef, this perfectly cooked steak, some good cheese on top. I put that queso fresco cheese on top. I use feta quite a bit. Goat cheese would be really good. And then some crispy pork belly, two meats. This whole thing is super cheap. Uh, mm. I get different textures, different flavors, like perfect lunch for me. My favorite me time after work is to go to the tanning bed, spend a few minutes in there, get some vitamin D and a little bit of color, and then I head over to the gym, but mainly just to sit in the sauna. I try to go three or four times a week for 30 minutes at a time. How was it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want... Pizza meat, taco meat, cheeseburger. Wait, cheeseburger? Cheeseburger okay. meat. I'll put cheese in it and taco ketchup. Meat. Is there sloppy jelly? Do you want sloppy joe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want that? Taco. No. I'm taco? Not. Taco. Oh, I want sloppy joe. Okay. This is where having that leftover ground beef comes in handy. Nathaniel picked sloppy joe meat, which is just sugar-free ketchup and some seasoning. And then Penelope picked taco meat and she'll put lettuce, cheese, sour cream in hers. And then we have some of that leftover bacon and shredded cheese. So I'm just gonna um, mix mine with shredded cheese and bacon, make it cheeseburger. 
They also are gonna have a few of these grain free tortilla chips. They kind of pick like one thing. Do you want like a fruit or something else to go with it? And then they know they can just have a few chips with their protein. You want these? What do you want? Uh, yeah, I want those. Okay, go sit down. Wait, what about the ranch ones? You want ranch ones? Ranch? I, I want a little bit of both. Okay, go sit down. Same with me, Mom. <laughs> For lunch today, I did almost a repeat of yesterday. I had that second chuck eye steak that I just cooked in the cast iron, and then I have some fresh farm eggs. Actually, I have a friend who lives here locally, and she brought me some eggs from her chicken. And so I have a couple of delicious fresh eggs that I cooked in the fat from the steak when I was done with it. Mm. And instead of putting the cheese on top today, I put some whipped butter and some flaky salt so it's the same kind of steak as yesterday, but totally different meal by pairing it with some eggs and different uh, toppings. I did totally ruin my sweatshirt though. I dropped my steak while I was cooking it and splashed ghee all over myself. I should have worn an apron. I don't know, Chris is kind of a miracle worker with getting these stains out, so we'll see if he can do it. Dinner tonight is super quick. Again, I have more leftover ground beef and I actually have a little bit of chicken that I had cooked in a skillet like fajitas uh, over the weekend. And I am gonna make myself some tacos with the crispy cheese wraps. And I'll show you how I turn this into the hard shell, taco shell. Uh, and then I have a live stream for locals tonight. So when Chris and the kids get home from jujitsu, they're gonna have the rest of this ground beef like warmed up like we did yesterday, but however they want it today. If you don't do dairy, obviously you're not gonna wanna do a cheese wrap, but you could do the egg life egg wraps. Uh, and these are a lot better. Some people don't like the spongy texture, but if you put it in a skillet and get it kind of crispy and almost make yourself like a quesadilla, then it, the texture is a lot better. If you are doing the cheese wraps in the microwave, make sure you warm up your meat first these will harden very quickly. And so I need to have my meat hot. So then as soon as this comes out of the microwave, I can just like throw it all together before it hardens. Okay. It took me way too long to realize that the instructions for how to make this crispy are on the back of the package, but basically put on a paper plate with the parchment paper that it's on and you microwave it for 90 seconds. If it's not getting crispy afterwards, it's because you're not microwaving it long enough. Okay, I have almost no confidence in myself doing this while filming because you gotta be so fast. And then before, look, it's already starting to harden. I probably could have taken this out about 10 seconds ago, but then you kind of got to hold it in place. Okay, and there we have it. Once it cools down for a few seconds and it hardens, I like to dip mine in sour cream. <laughs> okay, pro tip, baby, chop that up. A little smaller next time <laughs> but it is shocking how awesome like a taco it really is I used to be able to get this brand at Costco but I can get it at my regular Kroger grocery store and then I've seen another brand at Aldi's they are pretty expensive I haven't tried making my own on a piece of wax paper but I would imagine the concept is the same but it's a fun treat I'm not gonna eat more than one of them just cause they're pretty expensive. So I'll just take the rest of my meat and put some shredded cheese and sour cream in the bowl and just eat it like that. Today we have the opportunity to all sit down for a big family meal. And so I'm going to cook some bone in short ribs and a side of chicken thighs. I'm gonna do the short ribs in the Dutch oven. I'm gonna start them, sear them on the stove, put them into the oven to finish. Um, you could do them in a crock pot. I would sear them first on a skillet. You also could do everything that I'm doing today, you could do with like a chuck roast, sear it, throw it in the oven, let it braise, or put it in the crock pot. Uh, I'm gonna season everything with just some garlic, salt, and onion salt. 
I will probably throw a bay leaf in and then I'll put in some beef broth with it. Most short rib recipes you're gonna find talk about like the carrots and onions and celery and then deglazing it all with wine. I'm just gonna use um, some seasonings and bone broth. If anybody else in your family would eat those other things, you feel free, we just like to keep it simple. Um, I saw these manager special chicken thigh packs it's 99 cents a pound, 546 for 10 of these, which is huge. This is, I ended up buying like four packs and then I divided them up and froze them and saved them for later. Um, I will cook these in the oven. I love a chicken thigh in the air fryer. The skin gets so crispy, but I can only fit like four at a time in there. So since this is for the entire family, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on a cookie sheet, on a cooling rack uh, and do it in the oven so I can get more done at once. Dry chicken skin equals crispy chicken skin. So before it's time to cook them, I'll arrange these on this cooling rack, pat them off with paper towel, and they will set in the refrigerator until it's time to cook them. Even just an hour will make a difference in how crispy they get. I am using a little bit of ghee and a hot pan to sear the short ribs on all sides. I had to do it in two batches just for the searing and then I will cook them all together. Make sure you don't add any seasonings in this high heat sear, otherwise all that seasoning will burn. I waited until after I added the beef broth, I didn't really measure it, and then I put the seasonings in right at the end. I made sure the beef broth was about halfway up the meat. I let it simmer for just a couple of minutes and then it all went into the oven at 350 degrees. The short ribs, since they are nice small pieces, will take about an hour in the oven and the chicken thighs will probably, I'm guessing, take around 40 minutes. The meat is flexible and it can sit on top of the stove and stay hot for a long time. So the meat has been in for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and start my chicken. I'm gonna smother everything with ghee and use some um, seasoned salt from Redmond's just to give them like a pretty basic flavor. I am going to take all of these chicken skins and kind of tuck them in, make sure everything's rolled up as nice as possible. That's gonna help them cook evenly and stay juicy. And then they will cook on this cooling rack in the oven, which is gonna help get the air circulation around them and then hopefully they will be nice and crispy. The beef was fine just sitting at low heat until the chicken was done. A couple of minutes before it finished, I brushed two of them with sugar-free barbecue sauce for Nathaniel. Look at this chicken. The good thing about chicken thighs is that they are very forgiving. I'm looking for all of them to be over 175 degrees internal temperature. Um, because they are different sizes, I have some like a little bit higher than that. They're still going to be juicy. For dinner in our family, um, Chris or I typically make the meat and then the kids just grab sides, right? You guys know what you like to eat. Yeah. What kind of yeah. sides do you get to go along with your meal sometimes? Uh, cheese, green beans, uh, crackers, macadamia nuts, a bar. Yeah, they have some like keto bars, protein bars. They do the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. I showed you those chips that they have the other night. We started off by making swaps. Sometimes they have a little fruit, right? We usually picked maybe yeah. one sugar, which is like yeah. the fruit, the chips or the crackers, and then we get a couple other. Or like grapes or something. Right, or nuts. Or nuts. What do you think? It's phenomenal. Sometimes I impress myself. You always impress me. <laughs> oh, that And your cooking's good too. Mm. 
Dinner tonight for the kids was super simple. It's hot dogs or eggs. Nathaniel always picks eggs and Penelope always picks hot dogs. For hot dogs, I just look for ones that don't contain soy, that are all beef. Um, make sure you check because a lot of hot dogs have like soy filler included in it. I am back on the road today for my job, so I have no more like at home family meals to show you for a few days. Um, if you wanna see examples of meals that I eat on the road, I have a couple of YouTube videos that outline that, uh, and maybe I'll make another one in the future. If you've made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for?